Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on SRSR, Sarissa Resources Incorporated. Did this one a couple days ago um, as the chart continued to be a monster. And today we finally had um, the day where we had some profit taking, some panic selling, and kind of all of the above. Uh, but the good news was you put in a long, uh, lower wick. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with charting, I'll explain what that means. Um, but from where the chart looked at one point during the day in comparison to where it closed, uh, I'd call today a victory. Sure, it wasn't green on the day, uh, but once again, at, at one point during the day, it was a lot worse than what it ended up closing at. Um, so I want to just dig into the daily chart, go over um, some lower time frames also, and kind of just you know show people that uh, you know this is part of the game. And actually, although it was pretty wild today with really high volume, uh, it's one of those things where it, it's not. Uh, completely a bad thing um, it's just uh, people want to make money that's what the stock market's for and there's always going to be rookies and inexperienced in the stock market and they contributed to the downfall a little bit too by panic selling uh, but this also is a good example of how cool heads experienced traders investors took advantage of an opportunity and then made some very nice money on it in the same day and I'll explain that also but here's the daily chart and um, as you know if you've been following it just a beautiful chart and especially these past couple weeks literally just green day after green day straight up um, yesterday this was kind of the first clue that uh, today might get a little uh, nasty just because uh, you had a spinning top that was red and spinning tops formed at the top of uh, big moves like this can signal a possible pullback um, and then today you did get the pullback uh, and as you can see this is what is called the lower wick so at one point during the day, keep in mind, this whole area here was a solid red candlestick. So that's what I mean. It was a lot worse at one point during the day. Imagine if it would have closed down here where it had been at one point during the day. You would have had a big solid red candle and uh, the chart would have just looked, you know, it would have looked really bad. But now you got the bulls that pushed it back up and now you have just a candle that sure it's red, but uh, it's not, hasn't closed down here or anything like that. Uh, so the, for the next, I'm going to hop to the 60-minute time frame. And if you remember, uh, the last time I did the video, or maybe two videos ago, uh, I drew these two lines here, and these were what I was calling um, support lines, meaning this is where uh, the bull should hopefully be at. And if you're a buy on weakness type player, those were areas that may have presented you with a good uh, entry. And sure enough, today you can see that during that first hour or so of trading, the price did drop down here. So while you know the inexperience and rookies were probably panic selling here, at these two levels, which were support levels, the experienced and people that have been around a while were sitting here buying shares. And then sure enough, you can see by the end of the day, the price had pushed all the way back up there. So for those day traders, they picked some up probably right around 12, sold some for right around about 16 and a half. For a nice little chunk of change there for for a day's work so not too bad there and that's one of the benefits of kind of learning charts and knowing your way around because if you saw these support levels you could have picked up some shares at either of these locations sure it dropped down even lower uh, but the point being these were support and um, by the end by the end of the first hour or so uh, they proved to be support as the price got pushed back up so um, here is the 10 minute and once again you can see uh, the same thing this first uh, you know part of the day price really fell you had the high volume here where there was uh, quite a bit of panic selling some profit taking what have you and once again those people that waited at these two locations picked up some shares and the rest is history was a nice bounce through the earlier parts of the morning and then the afternoon just got some good sideways action um, so you know, the 10 minute shows you a little bit better on what kind of happened. And maybe we'll check out the 5 minute real quick to see what that looks like. But yeah, same thing. You can see the 5 minute. Basically, the bell uh, rang for whatever reason. Uh, the price fell. The cool heads prevailed, picking up shares here and here. And then the rest of the day, they just sat back and watched these shares that they picked up uh, work for them and make them some money. So uh, congratulations to the, the cool heads, the people that use the charts and so forth. Uh, that picked up shares right around 12 and a half and 13 and a half cents you are uh, now sitting pretty so let's go back to the daily and I also wanna um, pull up the weekly real quick so you can see what's going on here and 
the weekly you can't really see much uh, you just see this upper wick which shows that the price had been up here but now it's pulled back here uh, so the weekly is still showing you know powerful uptrend so no worries on the weekly you might get a few sideways weeks here but you know nothing wrong with that you got some sideways weeks here and here and then you saw what happened after that so sideways is not a bad thing just as long as the price isn't falling that's where uh, you know some problems can start to peek their heads up but as far as resistances go we just have pretty much this level here at 18 cents then you have this high up here which is um, about 21 cents so I'll get these changed to red so you can remember these are your resistance areas and then once again these are um, the support areas but actually you also have some new support areas that's not what I wanted to do get this back down here you have some support uh, at this previous high right here so that's going to be kind of another support level. As long as these levels hold, uh, then that you're good. What I would I don't want to see is for us, there's to be some closes below this line down here. So what that'll actually do is make this little thicker line, make it green so people realize that this is kind of the must hold support level right here. Uh, this is the level where if this fails and the price closes below it, something's probably just not right. Um, something has changed because this level down here should have no problem holding on any sort of pullback. Um, should be able to hold strong uh, so this is kind of the, the level to keep your eye on but once again you close up here at 17 cents so that's a long way down I'm just pointing that out um, it's kind of a, a make it or break it type level um, so that wraps up the chart uh, I'd encourage you to look down in the post and look for the link that has um, the post next to it that says uh, the free ebook check out that link and sign up for my newsletter it's all free and like I said you get the free ebook uh, I send out a lot of my chart plays and um, I write articles and stuff that I don't make public that I just send out to the uh, the newsletter. So there's, you get a lot of good stuff on it. It's all free, so uh, check that out. But if you do have any other questions for SRSR, um, shoot me a message, and I will help you out. Um, but if not, thanks for listening.